I saw a video of a woman, she's holding her child and her child had passed away. She was thanking God at that moment. And she's saying, Allahu Akbar. And she's saying in Arabic, from you we came and to you we will return. And just thanking God so much in that moment. And I said, I don't think I could do that. I don't think my faith is strong enough that I could thank God at that moment. So I said, how is her faith so strong? So that's what really inspired me to read the Quran, because especially as a mother, to be holding my child in my arms and thanking God, because even though my child is gone, I don't know. I don't think I could do that at that moment. Incredible how much the Palestinian people, the Palestinian Muslims have inspired the world. I was, I was a little bit interested in Islam through my husband since he is a born Muslim, but I never really found it for me until I started learning about Palestine. And I started seeing, obviously, the destruction and all of the heartbreak there. And I saw these Muslims living in Palestine and they lost everything. They lost their homes, their family, their future, you know, everything. They lost it. And they were thanking God amidst all that. And I said, how can someone have that strong of a faith? So I said, I need to read this book they're talking about, the Quran. I need to read this and see what is it that they believe in to be this steadfast in their faith. So I just opened it out of curiosity as a Christian of 25 years. And literally the first sentence, I was just blown away. Like I felt like it was speaking directly to me. I felt like God sent this book like God was speaking to me through the words. It was just incredible. <laughs> through this process by God, I really feel that. I was pulled from my soul to read the Quran. Then I was pulled to try the way that Muslims pray. So I said, okay, let me just try it. Like there's no harm in trying it. So I, I did the wudu and I followed the app on how to pray as Muslims pray. And um, I was just amazed by how I felt after praying. I finished the prayer. I called it a practice prayer. <laughs> I finished the prayer and I just like fell down and like I was bawling. I couldn't hold the tears back. Just like an incredible flood of emotions. I wouldn't say it was negative. No, it was like I was letting go of 25 years of anything on my shoulders. I just felt so free. I felt so free. And I said at that moment, I need to be Muslim. I, I really need to take my Shahada. And I told my husband right then, please take me to the mosque right now. <laughs> I need to be Muslim. Not an easy thing to change your faith after 25 years of being raised deeply in it. You know, you're you're raised from a very young child in the church. It's just ingrained in you. It becomes like a second skin to you, your your faith, your religion. So to start questioning that is really scary because then you're starting to think to yourself, if I start questioning things and I lose my faith that I had, what am I going to have after that? Like, what if I don't resonate with this other faith that I'm starting to learn about? Um, what if I'm left with nothing in the end? You know, there is always that question like of being in between two areas. Like I was in that area for, for a little bit there of questioning like, like, is this really the choice for me? And you're kind of like between two worlds, you know? It's, it's really a, it's kind of like a leap of faith at that point. 
Actually, as a Christian, the deeper I got into my faith, the more questions I had. And and I started to be a bit more confused as I was going along. I was going to Bible studies and going to church every Sunday. And I'm not saying that's what makes you religious. But as I went along, I started to have a lot of questions that were unanswered. Actually, the Quran started answering those questions for me, like questions about who is Jesus and is Jesus really God? And these kind of questions, I always had them on my mind. And also another question I had was, um, are Christians the only people that will get into heaven? And the Quran started answering those questions for me. And one thing that always confused me as a Christian was like, how, how can Jesus, peace be upon him, be God if he doesn't know what's going to happen to him on the crucifixion day. I was reading the Bible and it said that he was sweating blood because he was so nervous about what's going to happen. So I'm thinking to myself, if Jesus was God, then how is he nervous about what's going to happen? And from the other side, how can God die? And from the other side, I'm thinking like, if we put God into a human time frame, which has a beginning and an end, then God would have a beginning and an end. But God is infinite. So to me, it feels that we're somehow limiting God. Yeah, I would say, yeah, when I was an Instagram influencer before, I was just following trends. I, I was trying to get famous. I was following money, fame, you know. At first, I thought I was being body confident and I was empowering women by showing my body, you know. But the more I posted, I noticed that when I posted pictures of my body with less clothing, then I would get more views. So over time, I started to go into this area where I didn't feel authentic to myself anymore. And I didn't feel the way that people were looking at me like a piece of meat. After a while of that, I said, no, it's not worth it. Even if I'm going to lose all of the the sponsorships, the followers and, and the income, I don't care because this is not me. And, and that's not who I want to show the world. So I totally just threw that behind me two years ago and didn't think about it again. It's so funny because I just literally posted a video to my 100 followers on TikTok. I just said, this is so interesting to me. I need to share this with someone, you know, and it blew up. And that is not because of me. That is because of Allah. And I will keep saying that. They just don't walk by blind faith. What, whatever you will believe in, make sure that you believe in it with your whole heart and your whole mind. Don't be afraid to be curious. Reading another religion's book, it's, it's not going to destroy you. Like, be curious, look around you, realize that there is a bigger world around you and, and it's okay to test your faith. And you're not going to end up empty-handed. Maybe you're going to have more than when you started the journey.